box spring. Eight inch high profile wood box spring. And it's going to wind up looking like that box spring right there. All right, so let's see if I can set this up. Let's see if I can attach this GoPro. Am I good? There we go. All right, I'll open the box and see if I can get it going. All right, so I get rid of the phone here. So recapping what we got, or makes it pretty easy, this is up. So these are mirror images of each other. So basically give one of these, put one of my behind, get the slats, when it comes with slats, and one of these. I can have that much room to work. I should have done this in a different room, but whatever. All right, so basically it goes ta -da, like that. So they give you, they give you, besides the instructions. Uh, I saw a video on this. The reason I'm making this, the only reason I'm making this is because this is way, way easier than what this used to be, apparently from the directions. Uh, I saw a video of somebody making this where you had to, had to screw all these planks down. All right, so anyway, uh, basically, he even gives you a couple of extras of these. Gives you like a little mini ratchet. I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get one. So, and it also gives you an Allen wrench in case you wanna use an Allen, which is probably a little bit easier, to be honest. All right, so let me just dump these out. So there's two for each corner. I'll take the other one. Uh, basically, just goes right in here, like so. And then you can give it one of these when you get it lined up properly. Can I get in that hole? All right. So I fastened them all together. The thing is nice and square. I, I don't think it could not be because there are hinges on there. So anyway, next thing you do is make sure that upside is up. This Velcro, this squishy side is over here. So watch. So. There's basically Velcro and there's a, a holes. So I'm gonna put this through the holes if I can. There's one hole there, one hole there. I'm gonna keep tension on it outward and just push this all the way back like so. So in other words, two, three, four. And that's it, all right? Then I'm gonna do the same, same thing on this side. That's basically, that's basically what they say, and you're kind of done, but far be it for me to be done. Come on, come on, there's, there's this, that was opened already. All right, so I'll do the same thing over here. Got to make sure which side is the downside. There it is, right here, and again, I'm gonna put this, keep the rest of these up, and then put lateral pressure over this way so it goes where it's supposed to. Okay, now, this is finished according to them, but I'm not a big fan of Velcro being the only thing holding this down. So, I don't know if I would say I suggest, but I have a pin nailer, I have this 24 gauge pin nailer, just from some other woodworking, wood, uh, some other woodworking projects I do. So I'm just gonna 
put a couple of pins in there. These are pretty short, but enough to, to hold this. So we'll go down the line. The next thing I'm going to do, and all right, so it's finished now. You can put the outside on it and be done. However, uh, and my I have kids that are going to be going on this, but in the middle it's a little flexible. If you have a regular bed that's coil, I assume that there's a frame around the outside, and the frame sits on this, and it's not going to go anywhere. However, we're using a mattress that is one of those foam ones. So there's no outside frame. So I don't want this to flex. So what I did was went downstairs to my little workshop and I had a couple of these uh, two by two by ones or whatever lying around. So I cut them to the exact dimension of this, which was shorter than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it was 73 and three quarters and then i measured if i put one here and one there the distance in between those two in my case was like five something uh, let's see let's see what we got here so in my case was uh, five and an eighth. So what I'm gonna do is make a little frame. I'm gonna make a frame and put it alongside. So I'll show you. All right, so let's see what we can see here. First thing I'm gonna do is Now, now that I have an additional frame for the center, just gotta figure out if I wanna slide it over here or on the other side where there's nothing. So down there, you have the metal over here. So on one of these, you're gonna have to either go on the metal, what I suggest is moving it over just like an inch from the center. So I'm gonna move it an inch from the center and that should do it. So let's see, let's see what we got here. Uh, home stretch, baby, home stretch. Let's see where we are, here, here. Okay, home stretch. Move all the stuff, move this. So we're just gonna slide this in. It actually should fit pretty well if we get it right. But of course I have no room to put it in there. So we'll put it on this side since it's actually easier. Uh, if I did it right, I shouldn't be able to tilt it. I should just have to this way and just get it in vertically. Come on. Come on, baby. Alright, so put it in like this. There we go. See, so I tried to make it close to tight so you can't kind of twist it in. So, if you watch what I'm doing here, I'm gonna go pull it from the other side. Okay, here it comes. All right, so now we're flush over here. Let's see. So I'm putting it maybe like, uh, like two inches, let's call it. 
the same distance as that silver piece is. And vertical. All right, let's see. There's this. Make sure it's flush over here, so it's not sticking out. And it is. Let's get it over here. All right, so I got plenty of distance I can go down over here, so let's do that. Get two down there. I'm gonna shoot a couple from the back here. Actually, I really don't have to, but I will. I wanna make sure it's flush. Okay, same thing on the other end. Nice and flush. Let's get this over here. Same deal. Okay. Now we gotta switch it a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter screws. All right, done. Now I'm gonna put the, uh, now I'm gonna make it look like, I'll make it look like what it's supposed to, all right? Make it look like a box spring. The way you make it look like a box spring, put the box spring stuff on it. Open this bad boy up. There's a zipper. Someplace. There's a zipper. And this fits very, very tightly. Hi, Mabel. So, what we're gonna do, put it across here. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetie. No, no, just get down. Get down. Get down, get down, get down. I told you once before, and I won't tell you no more. <laughs> get down. Anybody who's old enough to know what that is, thank you. That was a song from a long time ago. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. The idea is to get it across. That's good. Maybe I can whack into the, uh, into the ceiling thing. Chop off my head. Okay. Three. One now. And for the record, this is more easily done with two people, this part, but this is pretty stretchy. So this, this actually works pretty well. So if you don't have two people, never fear. Definitely doable with one. Okay, see? One person, no problem. All right, so now I'll have to zip, zip it up, and we're done. Except for putting it on the bed. Oh, 
won't tell you no more. So get down. Okay. And there you have it. Ta-da! All right. Now we'll put it on the bed. And we'll be done. Let's get over here. Get all my stuff. We we'll start to clean the rest of the room. And the kitty has bed. Let's put this over here. All right. So take this. And again, you have to remember which side's up, but it's pretty easy. No. Nope. Centered enough. You stay down. You stay down. Down. Watch out. So there you have it. Maybe. So there you got it. Right, you have it. So there's the box spring on the bed. And I'm gonna go get the mattress. We'll put it on and we'll be done. Will we be done? Will we be done? We'll be done. All right, so there it is, the new mattress. Of course we have to get we have to get, uh, ow, kill myself. That hurt me. We have to get a white mattress pad. Uh, we have to get, not a white mattress pad. We have to get for the box spring, uh, like a little sheet, you know, cover, just so it doesn't look like cheesy like this. All right, that's my bed. And that's it, the bed's finished. Ta-da. So at the end of the day, here's where we are. Bed and box spring. Bed and box spring. I mean, it looks good. It acts like a regular box spring. It looks like a regular box spring. We bought a, uh, a fitted sheet over it. And that's it. Nice and quiet, nice and sturdy, nice and stable. And whatever, we have 90 days for these, uh, whatever kind of bed, uh, these Casper beds. If we don't like them, we'll get a regular mattress, but at any rate, the box spring is good. Box springs are good. That's it.